The opinions expressed here are those of the students and do not necessarily reflect the positions of Tyler Junior College. Coming up on the drum beat, damage left over from the storm is still being closely monitored and repaired. So we'll tell you what you should do if you see any damage on campus. And a new proposed house bill could affect the price of tuition for college students. We talked to Representative Matt Schaefer to discuss the bill. The drum beat starts right now. Broadcasting live from Studio 1108 in Jenkins Hall on the campus of Tyler Junior College, this is The Drumbeat, bringing you the latest from students like you. Thank you for joining us today on The Drumbeat. I'm Andrea Valdez, joining you live from an empty studio to maintain social distancing. TJC has partnered with PATH to provide students with food pantry assistance and other services. PATH is a nonprofit organization that offers numerous services and resources to families and individuals in the community who need assistance. So PATH has actually been in operation for 35 years, and we offer programs that really um, offer hope to some of the families that are seeking assistance um, and really just empower them as well. One of the services PATH offers is a food pantry, and they partnered with TJC to bring the services offered in the main location to the TJC community, calling it Pathway to Comfort. Just meeting that population that's not able to get to us, we'll, we'll bring it to them. And we were able to find a location, a central location there at TJC to um, offer everybody to be able to come to one spot. The food pantry is located next to Claridge Hall on Lake Street in front of the ABS and is open on Wednesdays from 10 to 2. I'm Andrea Valdez for the drumbeat.com. The TJC Scholarship Office has a new location that helps TJC students apply for scholarships, including the general scholarship application. What we can do to better assist our students here at the scholarship office, uh, we can give them not just information about um, how they can apply for like, the general application. This application will be used to award scholarships for the next academic school year, but we also can um, show them how to apply or where it is on our website where they can access outside scholarships. The scholarship office is offering their assistance with the general scholarship application due on April 1st. To apply, go to tjc.academicworks.com and for more questions, contact emily.mass at tjc.edu. Social media has been in the national spotlight recently after several platforms have discussed rules regarding online speech. We asked TJC students how they feel about social media platforms removing individuals from certain sites for, break, for breaking specific guidelines. I think so if um, the person is being reckless online and, you know, even with like pictures and stuff, I think, yeah, I think they should be able to take it down. They did disclose how they would end up reacting to certain content placed on the platform. And by you doing something that they end up, they end up thinking of as inherently wrong, then they will end up taking you off their platform. Depends on what you're posting. If you're posting inappropriate things that should not be on that site, if it goes against their rules, then yes. Coming up after the break, the Honors Program is hosting a drive to help the Salvation Army. Find out how to get involved. The black truck? Hey, Christina from accounting. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hey, I used to date a girl named Christina. Oh, really? Yeah, and then she dumped me for my best friend. You want to see some photos of them that I took? I don't. I thought we talked about this, buddy. Buzz and overshared again? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call a car. That's a smart idea. But yeah, I know. That's why I did it. Hey, you're going to get back to the top of the mountain. Does that mean I'm going to get back with Christina? No. Oh. No, no. Welcome back to the drumbeat. District 6 Representative Matt Schaefer proposed House Bill 1408 in January that would freeze tuition and fees charged by higher education institutions for college students until 2023. If the bill passes, it will go into effect in September. This bill is about benefiting students and working with colleges to find ways to control costs. 
After a historic winter storm, GJC facilities experienced damage from the cold weather, such as burst pipes and water damage. The crossroads. end of this week. Look, look for the colorful boxes. Some people don't have these items to help themselves and so we really need to try to help others in our community that aren't as fortunate as we are. Coming up after the break we will have Charles Houston with sports. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dance is cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Welcome back to the drum beat. I'm Charles Houston with your Apache Sports. The women's volleyball team went against the Trinity Valley Cardinals last week with a 3-0 sweep to send the Lady Cards flocking to the nest with an L labeled on their beaks. Right now, the Lady Apaches are currently 4-1 overall while being 3-1 inside their conference with enough remaining games in the season before they hit the playoffs. With their next opponent being Warren Jun County Junior College, we'll see if the Apaches can leave with a win. One of the most anticipated sports is expected to make its return this spring, and that's TJC Apache football, with their first opponent being the defending national champions, Navarro College. It'll be an interesting competition to see how the Apaches will fare with the defending champs. Reportedly, to have little or no fans in the crowd, we'll see if that'll play a role with the Apaches looking for their first win of the season. With nothing ever coming easy, the whole campus will be rooting for them. This is your anchor, Charles Houston, and what a day it is to be an Apache. Stu Student Life is commemorating the 10th anniversary of the 50-gallon challenge. Find out how to get involved when we come back. You're my friend. I noticed you haven't really been yourself recently. Yeah, I feel like something's up. How are you? Are you okay? Is there anything you want to talk about? I just want to know how you're feeling. And listen, even if you don't know what to say, I'm here to talk. No matter what you're going through, just want you to know I'm here. I've got your back. When you want to talk, I'm here. Welcome back. TJC history professor Stephen Stein is one of 10 authors being featured in the 75th anniversary issue for the West Memphis Historical Society papers for his article about the all-girl radio station WHER in Memphis, Tennessee. Student Life is celebrating 10 years of doing the 50-gallon challenge on March 22nd through the 26th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the Rogers Nursing and Health Center and the Rogers Student Center. Donors who participate will receive t-shirts, snacks, and enter for a chance to win prizes. Thank you for joining us today for The Drumbeat. Remember, you can always find the latest news at thedrumbeat.com, and we'll see you next time. The opinions expressed here are those of the students and do not necessarily reflect the positions of Tyler Junior College.